Hey guys, Jason Creel, you're watching Align Care Life. Today I'm with my friend Tim and he's wanting to show off, or actually I'm wanting to show it off for him, his new Wright Stander lawnmower. And I'm going to give it a, a test drive. Uh, it actually be my first time, that, it, believe it or not, to be on a stand-on mower. I've been on a stand-on aerator. But we're going to talk about this new 2018 Wright Stander and then I'm going to give it a test drive. We'll see how it goes. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening. All right. All right. <clears throat> so I'm here with Tim. Tim's been in one of my videos before and, and uh, he what I like about Tim, he likes to get fancy equipment, new stuff. When stuff comes out, he goes and buys it. So gadget man. Uh, yeah, the gadget man. So here he, he said, you know, and I don't know where a right dealer is in our area. So Tim, where first of all tell me this particular model, what model is this, and then where'd you get it? Because I don't know a, where they sell these things. 2018 right. Uh, it's a 48 inch and it's got the FX 730 <clears throat> Kawasaki motor. Um, there is a dealership in Tuscaloosa, uh, Montgomery, and then there's one at uh, Huntsville Hills okay. uh, Moore, I believe. So nobody within an hour or so, but if you drive yeah, a little way, you can That's one find. of the cons of this. Let's get a little uh, little preview of this thing. Look, circular view. So this is a 2018 got as he said 23 and a half horsepower kawasaki engine and what model what do they call this thing the right this is a standard x a right okay. standard right x. standard x and yes. right seems like they you know they've been making the stand on mowers before stand on mowers were cool they actually invented the stand -on okay mower, so all right so what's your how long have you had it uh, i've had it about uh 112 hours worth i've had it about a month and a half maybe okay two months. so you're putting Not a really lot long. of well you're putting a lot of hours on you must be mowing a lot of yards it, it's all i use now so okay. i have absolutely fallen in love with this lawnmower i um i had a friend of mine tell me about them and i went to check it out and uh, as soon as i bought it you know the advantages of this thing are are endless yeah well uh, let's talk about that because you you came from a, a riding mower i did to using this all and you still got your riding mower so why why is it that you're using this almost all the time instead of the riding mower so the great thing about this so anybody that has a rider knows that they don't like downhill and they don't like slope at the same time if those things break loose you can just kiss it goodbye you just along for the ride um but you know it, it, it's such a pain when you're cutting a yard, you know, and it's got debris everywhere. You gotta, you know, get up and, you know, pick it up and then, you know, and then you think you've got it all and then you find a little piece hiding in a bush or something and it's just a pain. With this thing, you, when you've got it running, the only thing you gotta do is shut the PTO off. You could leave it running with the brake off and you're already standing, you know, or like gates. You know, when you get to a gate, you gotta, you know, swing your arms out, put the brake up, go over there, open it up, get back down, ride it through, do it all over again. Mm -hmm. With this, you just shut the PTO off, open the gate, and you're already standing, and you come right back over here, get on it, and, and away you go. So, but this thing is like a cat. I, it goes uphill, downhill, sideways, upside down, backwards. I mean, it, and it don't break loose. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic, man. I, I have completely, so I only use my rider when I need a discharge. I've got a mulch kit on this one. So there are those times when I need to discharge the grass and I, I use that one, so. How would you say it compares on, you know, on, on a hill, holding a hill compared to a rider, or maybe if you've used walk behind? Oh man, I don't, I couldn't give you like a degree off of a protractor or something, but there, so when I bought this thing, I was hesitant to, um, cut areas where i knew that my rider had broken loose before but as i gained confidence in using this thing i mean i can literally be standing with my leg this high on this lawnmower and it's just riding along the hill cutting it i mean yeah. it's incredible I okay mean, if for i ever buy another one it'll be another standard so for those watching at home don't try to ride it on the hills that <laughs> Tim says he rides it on. <laughs> Read your safety manual. Right. Um, did you do do some research before you picked up the ride? I mean, did you test out any of the other brands? Because you know everybody's making a rider, I mean, a standard, that standard, standard right. now. Uh, I tried. Uh, I did try a, a couple of different models, and you know they were good. None of them are bad. But the the thing that drew me to this lawnmower the most was 
when I was shopping, these were 25% off. And I was like, oh, hold up now. Everybody else was, you know, over nine grand, nine and a half, somewhere around in there. And these were on sale for like, I think seven something. And I was like, done. Yeah. But, uh, but I, you know, the other ones are, they're good, but this, I mean, I don't know. I, I just love this thing, man. It's awesome. Does so. Wright make a, do they make riding mowers now or they just do standard? Uh, you know, I think they just make the, the standard is all they, yeah. they've got this. They have smaller standards. Uh, and then they also have uh, a standard, I believe it's a ZR or ZK. It's a higher up model. And that thing's got, I don't know, 35, 38 horsepower, but it's 12, 13 grand. Yeah. But it's a beast. But this is the step down from their top model. I've seen they make one that I've saw one has it has dual wheels and, yes. and a huge 72 inch mm -hmm. deck. And I mean, they make some huge ones. Now those dual wheels are <laughs> optional. Um, but but that that particular one, so that's why I didn't go with the top of the line, is that that lawnmower starts at 52 inch, and I okay. I don't like I don't have enough big giant properties, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I need a 48 where I can mm -hmm. you know wiggle in those little spots. So 48 is where I like to be right now. I mean later on I may get something bigger. Yeah. But. How would you compare the speed of this thing to a, to a riding mower? <laughs> my my wife says it's cartoon fast. Okay. Uh, you know, it's, I don't think, it, it does, I believe it's nine and a half, ten miles an hour, but it's got the big drive motors on it, so when you lay into the sticks, I mean, it goes. It's yeah. not, it's not, uh, it's not as sluggish as the other ones. I mean, it'll it'll take off. So it, I got you. It's a good mower, man. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna ride this thing. Uh, all right. Well, uh, that was, let's get one more look at it, and then I'm gonna see if I can drive it without running into anything. <laughs> so I've, 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 I know how to ride things, and I like I never rode anything. Right. I just hadn't rode this thing. Right. And so. this is the difference right here on the Gen ones and twos. Okay. Um, is that the Gen ones? I do not believe. See, when you come down like this. On the Gen 2s, you can click in and adjust okay. at a half an inch if you want. I believe the Gen 1s, if I'm correct, go all the way down and all the way up. Okay. And the pin stops it. So this is really all that separates the Gen 1 from the Gen 2. I don't believe you can get a Gen 1 anymore. If okay. you do, it'd be rare. So. I got you. Okay. Something else. Oh, how, you? they talk about with the... the the space saving on the trailer or something is that i know you got a pretty big oh, yeah. trailer but i and they, is that's <clears> kind of like the footprint on your trailer um this thing is probably eight inches shorter than my rider the the front to rear wheelbase is great because before when i would scalp you know sometimes you know nobody's perfect and every now and again you'd catch that hilltop and you'd scalp it a little bit, this thing is so short that it doesn't do that. So I gotcha. places where I was scalping, you know, I closed my eyes and kind of go over it with this mm. one and it, it was great. So, uh, yeah. and it's got the one piece knee pad here so that the water doesn't get in it. You know, that's all one piece. Uh, and then it's got the uh, springboard, uh, you know, ride. It's kind of like the air ride on the X marks. So yeah. when you're riding, you know, it's cushioned on you. Yeah, well, yeah I'm on the, ride some of these things when i go uh to the gie expo i might demo some stand on right. mowers just to try the different ones but anyway i'm gonna try this one. oh we're changing cameramen and i'm gonna start driving this thing <laughs> All right, here we go. i know right it's great it's like riding on a cloud of air the deck handle
Y'all make fun of me if you want to or not. It's gonna take me a minute to ride that thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I ride fertilizer spreader, so it's a little bit different. But um, in a week, I'd have the hang of it. Anyway, I, I like the feel of that. I can see uh, using that. If I had a big property, I, I'd probably still prefer sitting down, but I can definitely see the advantages of the standards and it definitely fly. It's, it's kind of like, like you say, the acceleration. It just, you gotta hold on what you got. So um, anyway, just uh, wanted to show you guys the new mower, stand on mower. Let me hear from you guys if you use standards, walk behinds, ride ons. Have you switched from one to the other? If you're in the standard market uh, or have one, which uh, model do you have? And if you use the specific, the right model, let me hear what you think about it. So thanks, Tim, for uh, participating in the video. I'll be talking to you guys later. And if you can check out these suggested videos, if you want to subscribe to the channel and keep up with all the videos, go ahead and do that now. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.